And now I get to introduce George Sheridan, a public school teacher in California, but he was recently elected to the National Education Association's Executive Committee. The NEA Executive Committee consists of nine members, three executive officers, six members elected at large at the uh, Representative Assembly. The committee is responsible for general, general policy, interest of NEA, and acts for the NEA Board of Directors in between the four regularly scheduled meetings each year. A teacher for 36 years, Mr. Sheridan has taught every grade level from first through 12th, including some graduate courses at the California State Sacramento and UC Davis. We are fortunate that George can be with, here, be with us to here today uh, to provide greetings on behalf of the three million members that make up the National Education Association. Please give a warm welcome to George Sheridan. So Vinny stole my speech. I'm supposed to say greetings from the National Education Association. <laughs> and then mention that we have almost 3 million members. So I'll start by saying NEA is America's largest trade union and our largest civil rights organization. NEA members take responsibility for educating the whole child. School safety is our business for all who work in schools, and for all our students. I've just returned from Africa, where education unions across the continent were meeting to discuss how to combat gender inequity and school-related gender-based violence. I visited an elementary school where students had families orphaned by AIDS, where children living with HIV AIDS received their medicines at school, and where malnutrition, abuse, and lack of resources had a long list of challenges. The teachers' union is working to bring awareness of gender issues, including LGBTI issues, to every one of their members and the communities they serve. Some of the activists gathered in that room in Nairobi knew they could be killed on their return home if a picture was published of them beneath the sign with the letters LGBT. We're all at varied points on the same road as our brothers and sisters in Africa. Two generations ago in the US, the women's movement gave many lesbians a safe place to begin to talk about LGBT issues. Last year at this conference, I sat in a room with school teachers and counselors seeking information they needed for their students despite their very real fear of consequences to themselves. I thought, how fortunate I am to work in California. It's great to be in Portland, it's so affirming, right? But I have to tell you, last night I had the pleasure of meeting Brett, whom Vinny just called out, the Oregon Teacher of the Year who is being persecuted by the Multnomah Education Services District because he publicly thanked his husband, Mike, for his support. The story is unbelievable. Um, if you get a chance, uh, Brett has been out. Do you see it in the back now? I see. Okay. <laughs> So the thing about Brett, he's a genuinely nice human being. He's a fabulous teacher working with medically fragile students. Um, he's received these awards as State Teacher of the Year and recognized by NEA as Outstanding Teacher in Oregon. His district was willing to accept the $5,000 check he won, but they have, among other things, forbidden him to speak or write 
They even tried to prevent him from going to the gala where he was to be honored um, as Oregon's outstanding teacher. So I was pleased to learn that NEA's Oregon affiliate, the Oregon Education Association, has strongly supported Brett. All this message comes down to three words. We are one. I invite you, if you haven't stopped by the um, table staffed by the NEA GLBT caucus, get yourself a poster or a stack of posters for your school site or other place of employment. And I invite you to attend the NEA breakout um, debriefing session at 1.30. Thank you very much. <laughs>